let's start the day off with a nice quick deep clean now this is my if I want to do list in inverted commas because I don't want to do all of the cleaning in one day and not have anything else to do all week because we are currently in lockdown so I thought I would make a list of all the jobs that I hate doing and just tackle them and get them done but first of all I'm going to have my bowl of shreddies for energy and my Barocca, which gives me an added little kick and some vitamin C, just in case I need that added little bit of energy for all these jobs that I've got to tackle. I'm gonna start in the kitchen by basically clearing the surfaces and making them nice and tidy. nicely folded and put away now it's time to tackle these windows the problem is I did clean the windows and the patio doors but I actually didn't press record on the camera so you missed me cleaning the patio doors and actually taking the blind down off the kitchen which was actually quite funny but I took it down and I gave it a nice deep clean because it gets quite dusty in this area I don't often take the blinds down off the windows and we were due to have shutters fitted on the kitchen window and the hall and landing but due to the current circumstances our shutters are delayed so I'm just going to have to wait now because shutters are so much easier to clean than these Venetian blinds I find them a nightmare to clean and to keep clean so I'm looking forward to getting shutters on those windows <laughs> old Mr Muscle glass cleaner it's, I've used it for years and years and it's the only thing really that cleans the windows up so that's those nice and clean now I have to put the blinds back on the window Lee did offer to do it but little Miss Independence was like no no you just help me pass me the blinds and I will fit them back and that's what we've done he went outside onto the ladder to hold them in place so I could put the catch in because they are just so heavy so I will really be glad to see the back of these blinds as you can see I hate them
I used Method Antibacterial Spray to clean all the worktops and the surfaces in the house. I'm just using all the bits that I've got underneath the sink because there's a real short supply on cleaning products in the supermarket. I don't know whether you've got the same issue, but I'm struggling to get cleaning products, so I'm just using up all the ones that I've got. <laughs> Another one of those jobs that I hate and it's cleaning underneath the bin cupboard. We have our waste bin under there and we store any packaging for recycling at the side of the bin. So I like to just give it the once over, a nice clean and I usually do that once a week and it's usually on the Friday when all the bins get emptied. Well, my bin doesn't just get emptied on a Friday, I mean the wheelie bins, but that's my way of remembering that I'll clean the bin cupboard on a Friday when all the bins get emptied. <music> And then this is the other job that I hate to do. It's cleaning the banister and the spindles on the staircase. I hate doing it. It hurts my hands. I usually use a little feather duster. If you've watched my videos from a couple of years ago, you will see that I use a feather duster, but it needed a deep clean this time. So I just damped the cloth and used the Waitrose Antibacterial Multipurpose Spray to clean all the woodwork down. So it smelled lovely of eucalyptus and it's one of those jobs that I hate to do, but when it's done, it just makes the staircase look so nice and fresh and clean. So it is worth doing it, but I don't do it often for the simple reason it hurts my fingers. As I'm editing this vlog, I'm thinking, gosh, this all looks back to front, but it's not back to front. It's just my to-do list of all the jobs that I hate to do. So that's why it's quite a mishmash of different rooms and different things happening, but it's all the jobs that I hate to do. It's not that I hate to do them. They're just the ones that I find really tedious. Some hate my fingers, some hate my knees. This one cleaning the fire. I always end up in a battle with Peg, as I'm sure you're going to see now. She steals the kitchen roll that's got glass cleaner on it. And it's like coaxing a lion trying to get the kitchen roll off her. <laughs> It took me all of four seconds to realise that she'd ran off with it. So then I have to cut a new piece of kitchen roll off to encourage her to give me the other piece. And she was having none of it, but I did manage to get it off her and clean up the piece that she cut because I usually do give her a piece of kitchen roll just to keep her quiet. But that's why I hate to clean the fire because obviously I don't tell my do dogs off. They're not naughty dogs. Peg is just so cheeky and loves to try and stop me from cleaning up because she just wants my complete undivided attention. Now I'm tackling the glass in all the doors. I'm just going to give them a clean over with Mr Muscle Spray and whilst I was cleaning these doors, Lee cleaned the glass on the front doors because it's quite high and you have to get up on the ladder. It's not really my favourite job to do so, Lee does that which is absolutely great because it saves me having to do it. So I'm just going to go on and clean all the glass in the doors, I love it when these are done too. This is another job that really gets on my nerves but I love it when it's all done. <laughs> to-do lists 
so today is Wednesday it's not Wednesday but it was the day that I was filming and I'm just ticking off all the jobs I had them all written down so I knew which jobs needed to be done and what ones I didn't do I crossed over to Friday or to next week but as you can see we're ticking them off shutters and I use two mitts one wet with just warm water and one dry so I can wash with one and I can dry with the other one it's just the easiest way to clean them it takes me all of two minutes to go over each slat and then close the slats and dry them off as you'll see me doing now and it literally takes me two minutes in comparison to the kitchen blind which took me around 40 minutes to clean just that one blind shutters are so much easier if you are thinking of getting shutters or venetian blinds i highly recommend that you go with shutters they're so much easier to maintain and i was about to fill up my air purifiers and i spilled a whole jug of water all over the floor all over the walls and yeah i had to clean all that up off the floor and it was soaking it was a full jug but it was easily cleaned up with a little bit of kitchen roll. Been down now, been at it for a while, and I have had enough of this. I doubt that we can solve it. Been trying for so long, and I just can't ignore that it won't ever be the same. No, we will never be that good. Now we're taking down the curtains on the banister. I'm going to pop them into the machine on a quick wash, just a 30 degree wash, which takes around 30 minutes in my washing machine. And then I hang them back up while they're wet because it makes the landing smell lovely of, of laundry and soap powder. I'm going to give the blinds a little clean over just off the window ledge. Smelt absolutely gorgeous and looked lovely and clean when it was all done. Imagine in my dreams, now you won't be there. And I just can't ignore that it won't ever be the same No, we will never be that good again Don't drag it out, skip the innocence Things will never be the same again I did want to clean the windows and the shutters but it was too sunny at the front of the house so I've decided to move the windows to next Wednesday and I'll clean them then and make sure that they're cleaned even if it means me having to get up early before the sun's in the front to clean the windows. I cleaned the upstairs ones and the back windows but I just didn't do the living room windows because obviously it was sunny and you can't clean your windows when it's sunny. These memories that we made won't fade away for a while. You said you don't mind that you'll be just fine. No room for second chances. Hey, I got all that I need. No need to apologize. We won't waste any more time. Yeah, I am all that I need. I had cleaned the cupboard doors and also to clean the cutlery drawer on this to-do list but I wanted to keep cleaning the cupboard doors for the end of the week so I'm going to do them on Friday as you can see the cutlery drawer wasn't really messy or have any crumbs in there or anything it didn't need cleaning and my tea towel drawer and microfiber cloth drawer was also really tidy it didn't really need anything now I do generally keep these drawers tidy anyway but I like to give them the once over and freshen them up so what I done was 
I've crossed off the cutlery drawer and I've moved that over and also cleaning the cupboard doors because otherwise I would have had nothing at all to do on Friday so it's on Friday to clean the cupboard doors and then I'll just do the cutlery drawer next week and I think I put it on Friday of next week it's something when you've got to start writing things on a to-do list to try and keep your week busy because we've just got so much time I work from home so I've got lots of time to get things done but I don't want to have too much time where I can sit and think about things and start worrying about things but the most important thing now is a lovely message that went over our home and it was a private helicopter as you can see it makes me quite emotional now even just speaking about it, it makes me really really upset so I'm just gonna let you watch <music> Crazy how the melody 